Thanks, Xavier. As the Israeli offensive ramps up in central Gaza, Hamas is rejecting a key component of an Egyptian peace plan. Fox's Matt Finn has more from London. The Israeli offensive is ramping up in central Gaza. IDF soldiers, tanks and planes taking the fight to Hamas in densely populated areas, displacing thousands more civilians. Right now, about 85% of Gaza's population has fled from their homes. They claim there is no safe zone. Israel says that's not true, and the IDF will keep moving forward while also working to minimize civilian casualties. We are conducting intensive actions in the Gaza Strip, which will continue until our goals are achieved, our targets are precise. As the fighting intensifies, Egypt is pushing a new peace plan that includes a multi-stage ceasefire and prisoner releases on both sides. But Hamas said Friday that's a non-starter and the hostages won't be released until the Israeli forces stop attacking. The terror group is also demanding a seat at the table when the time comes to decide who will control post-war Gaza. This is a Palestinian internal affair and is only decided by a Palestinian leadership. But for now, the status quo continues. Fierce battles between Hamas and Israeli forces, with thousands of civilians caught in the crossfire. I'm terrified. I'm scared. And the thought of me being killed or my, bro- my other brother being killed, just crossing my mind repeatedly. I already lost my older brother. I can't lose my younger brother. I have no no one left. On Thursday, a second American hostage was confirmed dead, and now there are believed to be six other Americans being held hostage by Hamas. In London, Matt Finn, Fox News. The U.S. Customs and Border Control says migrant crossings at the southern border reached a record high this month. Since December 1st, they have encountered more than 276,000 migrants, the highest month ever on record. The previous highest month was last September with nearly 270,000 migrant encounters. The Department of Homeland Security data shows nearly 60% of all migrants processed this month cross into the U.S. illegally in the Tucson, Arizona and Del Rio, Texas areas. Charges that we have here in this area that we've had for several years already, uh, and, and it appears that it's 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 getting worse. Republicans and Democrats in the Senate have been tied up in border policy negotiations for weeks. New legislation is expected to come to the floor in the new year. 